Good afternoon, my name is Jess Hart. I'm the director of the education department here at Meyer Gardens and today I'm going to share with you a fun and simple project that you can do at home in celebration of Earth Day. So today we are going to work together to create an insect hotel. Yes, I said a hotel for insects. An insect hotel is a structure that provides shelter for beneficial insects in your yard or your garden. And some people make really, really elaborate, large, decorative insect hotels made out of wood. But what we're going to do is use repurposed and recycled materials to create an insect hotel out of a plastic bottle. Like this, so you can use a two liter bottle, like this one, or you can use a smaller bottle. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. And the only other things that you'll need to complete this project are a pair of scissors, a bit of twine or string or yarn, and then a pile of natural materials like sticks, twigs, pine cones, bark, things that you can easily find in your yard or in a park or in an other outdoor space near your home. So when you go outdoors to collect your natural materials, you want to keep in mind that the purpose of this project is for Earth Day, and that's a day to celebrate and care for the Earth. So you want to make sure not to strip bark or take sticks or twigs from live plants. Instead, collect things that are on the ground, and you'll be surprised at how much you can actually find in a small area. I collected all of this just from a small area near my patio at home. When you go out to collect your materials, you'll probably start to notice that there are insects out and about that weren't there just a few months ago in the winter. Um, a lot of people don't like insects or sometimes are even afraid of insects, but it's actually true that many insects are beneficial to humans and to the earth. Um, and depending on what sorts of materials you choose to put in your insect hotel, you'll attract different sorts of beneficial insects. Uh, one type of insect you might attract are bees. And I don't mean the bees that live in hives, I mean small solitary bees like mason bees. Um, those sorts of insects like to nest in small cavities or holes. So things like bamboo or reeds or other things with hollow stems are really great for them. Another type of insect you might attract are ladybugs. Um, ladybugs like materials like pine cones and sticks and bark, so those sorts of things will help to attract ladybugs. And both of those insects are really beneficial. Bees are great pollinators as they're buzzing around from plant to plant trying to collect pollen and nectar. Um, they actually move pollen from plant to plant. That helps to fertilize the plants, helps them reproduce, and then we have a healthy environment full of all sorts of plant life. And ladybugs are really helpful because they eat another insect called aphids. And aphids are pests that can actually harm plants in the garden. So ladybugs help to control that population of aphids. So let's get started with our project. The first thing you're going to do is take that bottle that you're using, either large or small, and you're going to cut off the top and the bottom. So you'll take your scissors and cut off here and here. And you might need an adult to help you do that, to kind of poke through the plastic and cut through it. And so what you'll end up with is sort of a cylinder or tube out of plastic, and then the top and the bottom of the bottle. We won't be using the top and the bottom. You can set those aside. And if you want, you can do another project with those later. So you're going to take that tube. And the next step is that you're going to poke some holes in it on the same side, one near one end and one near the other end. Uh, I used a hole punch to do that. But if you don't have a hole punch at home, again, you can use your scissors or another sharp object and just have an adult help you to do that. So here comes the fun part. After you've got your tube, you've got your pile of natural materials, and you're just going to start to kind of stuff them into this tube of plastic or just arrange them in there. Um, it helps if they all sort of go in the same direction like this. And you'll just slowly start to fill the tube with all of those things and you can break the twigs to fit. You don't want them to hang over the edges too much so just break them to fit in there. And you'll just keep putting all of those natural materials in there until it's a tight fit. You want it to be really full so that things don't shift around too much inside. And at that point, or even before you fill up the tube if you want, um, you've punched your holes and you can take that twine or yarn or thread and tie it onto both sides like this.
And this is just going to be the uh, hanger for your insect hotel. So you'll be able to hang it outdoors. So I'm going to show you one that I've already finished. This one doesn't have enough stuff in it yet. But here's one that I've already finished. It's packed tight, full of pine cones and bark and twigs and all sorts of things. And you can see it doesn't move around. It's pretty tightly packed in there. I also chose to decorate mine. I put some little stickers on the outside. Um, you could use Sharpies. You could use some glitter glue, whatever you'd like to decorate the outside of that. Um, but you don't have to decorate it. The insects will like it one way or another. Um, and then the last step is that you take this and you hang it in a spot in your yard or your garden or your patio or your balcony, any sort of outdoor space that's a little bit protected. You don't want it to get a whole lot of rain coming onto it. Um, and then the fun, really fun part after that is just to watch over the next couple of weeks to see what sorts of beneficial insects might take up residence inside your insect hotel. So this is just one simple project that you can do in celebration of Earth Day a simple way to help care for our Earth and all of its creatures. I also encourage you and your family to maybe do some brainstorming together. Make a quick list. Maybe write down three things that you can do, not just on Earth Day, but every day to help care for and protect our Earth, which is our friend and also our home. So a place that we want to keep clean and healthy uh, for years to come. So thanks again for joining me this afternoon. I hope that you all have fun making your insect hotels. We'd love to see what you create. So if you'd like, once you're finished with your project, take a photo and post it in the comments so we can see it. Have a great day.